Good evening. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey and Wealth Wednesday. Tonight I am drinking Doc Swinson's Alter Ego. Found this at Costco. It's actually really good. It's uh, straight bourbon, but it's in a finished in a sherry and cognac uh, cask. It's really delicious, actually. So we're going to take a quick break from topical ideas. We're going to take a break from comparing things in the real world to wealth planning and instead talk another about another aspect of wealth in a manner of speaking. You know, I think that oftentimes we get tied up when thinking about wealth in the context of money and the context of accumulating values in our retirement accounts, in our brokerage accounts. And sometimes I think it's a good idea to just take a step back from all of that and think about the other aspects of how one might actually have a wealthy life. And of course, I'm not here to pronounce all of the things that you've probably read a thousand times or had your parents share with you. But this weekend, I had the good fortune of spending time with two dear friends of mine, golfing, eating, possibly drinking a little bit more than we normally would, playing dominoes, and really just having a good bonding experience. And I walked away from this past weekend just feeling enriched and feeling satisfied to have those types of relationships and to be able to spend that time with those individuals and really just be, be, be refreshed and renewed in friendship. So cheers to some other aspects of wealth.